really hoping. Hi, this is Blind Man Running. I have retinitis pigmentosa, as some of you know, which is a blinding disease that slowly takes sight over a period of, in my case, uh, decades, luckily. I'm in my early 40s and I've got a few degrees of vision left. Unfortunately, uh, right now there is no treatment or cure which will fix the problem, but there's always exciting things happening on the horizon. As it so, ha so happens, uh, last week I got a phone call um, offering me a slot in a gene therapy study which is going to see if uh, the disease can, at least the progression, can be halted. It's a phase one study, uh, which means it's just looking at how safe the treatment is. Uh, and as a secondary objective, the phase one will see if it'll do anything, but that's really what phases uh, two and three are about. So anyway, I'm going into Portland this morning to uh, start a two-day marathon of vision tests, visual fields, light sensitivity, photographs of my retinas, the works. So uh, today from 8 to 6, and tomorrow from 8 to 6, I will be um, having my eyeballs poked, prodded, and uh, manhandled. So, um, I'm hoping that at the end of all this testing, my sight will be just good enough to squeak in, I was told. Um, based on how my uh, chart looks from the last time my uh, eyes were checked, I am pretty borderline for getting in. So, uh, here's to hoping. Well, I'm at the KCI Institute now on the fourth floor. My appointment is on the fifth, but I had to give you guys uh, without walking to you. Wonderful things like that. I to give you guys a view of this pretty cool floor. It's made of glass blocks. When the sun is straight overhead, you see the ceilings open. This floor really glows. I was told that this is the largest glass floor in North America. Still walking to the end here. And uh, it's not hard to believe this thing is pretty darn impressive. So there you guys go. Glass floor on the fourth floor. It's been a long morning at KCI Institute. I went through a pair of eye chart exams for different purposes uh, to get a baseline of my visual acuity for the study. Uh, my right eye was corrected around 2060, 2065. My left eye, I had no usable central vision. I was basically just counting fingers at a dozen paces. Uh, I already knew that, they already knew that, but it's for the study. Uh, after that was done, I went uh, up a floor and did a um, visual field test using a machine called the Octopus. It flashes white lights all around the hemisphere and you're supposed to look in one direction and click a button when you see a light. It's random where they'll appear so you can't guess. With that uh, machine I found that I had quite a bit of peripheral vision in both eyes. More peripheral than I thought I had in my left and that's really what the study is after so that's good news for seeing if I can get in. Right now, I am eating lunch. I've got myself some chili crackers and some water because after lunch, I am going to be going in for a blood draw. Six to seven vials. I am not looking forward to that. I've never had that many drawn before. So the water is to uh, get my blood thin and uh, flowing. We'll see how that goes. Okay, so I'm done with the blood draw. I had 10, 10, 
10 vials taken. I've never had that many drawn before in one go. Uh, felt a little woozy at the end of it, but I got through it. Uh, I'm waiting right now on the next and final uh, eye test of the day, called the Dark Adapted Test. It's kind of like the octopus before, where uh, it's going to test my uh, perception of uh, dots, but this time they'll be in color and in total darkness. It's supposed to be a two-hour marathon once my eyes are adapted to the dark. Um, I've heard uh, stories about it being pretty grueling, so uh, I'll tell you about it when it's done. I'm done with the dark adaptive test. That was interesting. Completely dark room. I had to sit in complete darkness with patches over my eyes to, uh, I don't know, make things even darker and my eyes dilated just to uh, make sure my eyes were as wide open as possible. Sat in that room for 40 minutes before the test even began. Now the test itself was an awful lot like um, trying to catch uh, flashing stars in a night sky a lot tougher than the octopus. The lights are extremely dim, uh, almost subliminal they're so dim. Right now I am waiting for a ride to the hotel because I get to do some more tests uh, tomorrow. There was a misscheduling of my ride from the hotel back to the KCI Institute. I'm here five hours early and I didn't get much sleep last night. The hotel bed was just too different from my own, so i um, operating on next to nothing at the moment. Luckily I don't have any rigorous testing to do today. Some photographs of my retinas and a consultation with the uh, physician to uh, give me a physical and see that I am physically fit to undergo the operation to get into the study. So I guess I'm going to try to find a quiet place to curl up and doze for a little bit, uh, have some lunch, and then get on with the last of my appointments. There's the cable car headed from the hospital down to the waterfront. By the way, this is a view from the KCI Institute's cafeteria looking through one of the north windows. And there's the cable car coming back up from the river, the waterfront, uh, to the hill. If you want to look at the cable car close up and get a gorgeous view from its platform, there's a link to that video in the description. Well, it is 3.10 in the afternoon, and I'm back on the fourth floor. I'm showing you that glass floor again, and this time, well, the sun's not exactly overhead. It's, well, it's three in the hand, so it's a little off, but I still get enough sunlight to make this floor glow. Let's see if I can get, a, get down to it. Hopefully, if I'm done with my eyes being photographed uh, soon enough, I'll go to the third floor and maybe show you guys this as a glowing ceiling. It's supposed to be kind of a sea green or a uh, aquamarine. So I think it's pretty cool. Not often you see a glowing floor. I'll be called in a second, so I should probably turn this off. Three-dimensional photographs of my retinas are being taken by the OCT camera. OCT stands for Optical Coherence Tomography, which uses infrared lights to build up an image slice by slice. And here's a regular visible light camera complete with hellishly bright flash, specifically designed to victimize retinas. The day is done. It was a tiring and nerve-wracking experience, but I did my best. I do feel positive about the results. I hope to hear next week that I got into the study. For now, I'm waiting to go home. Voice over off. Hmm. That glass floor is seen from below. It looks like a brightly lit aquarium, doesn't it? 